Hello guys, this time I would be discussing on how to complete the column headings um, after, after being able to have here the first part of our truth table. If in case you want to do some review on how come we have this as the first two columns in the truth table, just feel free to access the video entitled how to start writing a truth table, right? Okay, so... Let's now discuss on what to do, what to write here as the column headings in our truth table. Okay, so first things first would be we are to identify the innermost propositional forms in our translation. Notice that in the, in the translation that we have here, the innermost would be this parenthesized propositional forms here. So that gives us a hint that the next column heading might be F or not O. Now, why did I say might be? Now, might be because there are times that automatic, automatically um, the innermost propositional forms would right away be the next column heading. But there are times that whenever the propositional forms are not um, well presented, then we are to complete first the presentations of of the of the propositional forms now for us to know if we have or if we are ready for this column let us check first if we really have an f an f column and a not o column now why do we have to check if we have these columns Clearly because we have to operate these two propositional forms right here using the operation um, disjunction. So we have to compare or operate these two propositions. So we have to have the presentations of, of these propositional forms here. Now, clearly as well that we already have a column for F, but we don't have yet not O. So that gives us a hint that before we can have this column heading, we have to have first a not O column. So you see, this is one of the examples where in the innermost um, propositional, propositional forms would not be automatically the next column heading. So here, we have to make first a not O column there so that we can now compare or operate f or not o there you go now once you identify the innermost we will have an out, an outward direction meaning from this innermost f or not o we have to have the next propositional form with which is F and the operation is end. And in this case, we can directly have this propositional form because we have already an F column. So that means the next would be F or not O and F there. Next. Next column heading would be finally the last, I mean, the, the, the final argument that we have here, which is F or, um, F or not O, and F would imply O. Since I don't have much space here, why not? Um, let's just label this hypothesis here to be, say, H, and the column here, O for R C. So the entire argument here would be H implies sorry H implies C. There. So um that's how you write column headings in a truth table. I'll be having another video wherein we are to complete all the cells here for us to prove if this 
argument is tautology or not that would be entitled how to complete a truth table all right um just visit that one just in case you're now ready or you, you will be ready at that time and how to complete the truth table but i'll be having another um example on how to have column headings in a truth table all right so just in case you're still confused on how to have column headings just access my other example for that all right so see ya